everyone and welcome back to Big Brother and I think I can't remember what episode we're on but it's Saturday night and Saturday night is eviction night and nomination night and all the housemates are gathered on the sofa to find out who is the next evictee from the house. Now I am going to head over to Big Brother right away because we do have quite a busy day ahead and then we are going to cut to the house yesterday and see what's kind of been going on in the house up until this point. So I'm going to pass over to Big Brother and I'll talk to you in a second. Housemates, it's now time to find out who will be leaving the Big Brother house. The public votes have been counted and the fourth person to leave the Big Brother house is Alice. Alice, please say your goodbyes and leave the Big Brother house. Alright, so it is the lovely Alice that is now being evicted from the house. We're going to hear some diary room footage from her and then I am going to kick her out the house. She is, she is out of here, she is going home. So we're going to hear the diary room footage from her and then some information from the house. Or information? Footage from the house yesterday. Alice, you've been evicted. Have you enjoyed your experience? I have. Despite everything has gone on, I really, really have. I have an experience that I'll never forget, and I'm sure that my housemate won't forget me either. I'm just a little nervous to face the public after everything that's gone on, so... But you know what? I'm really glad to be seeing my family and my friends again, and to be able to play my musical instruments. I've missed that no music in the house it's just been so quiet and a little crazy at times so maybe that's why i've been acting so weird i haven't had my music with me either way i've really enjoyed my experience what are your opinions on the housemates who are left abby is 100 percent genuine i absolutely love her and i'm rooting for her to win i'm so excited for her and noah especially after they have kissed Noah, he's a great guy, he's funny, and let's be honest, he's gorgeous. And he only has eyes for Abby, so <laughs> it's a little unfortunate. Duncan, I'm not his biggest fan. I think he's a bit dull, but, you know, I feel awful for him for after that crazy mama drama. Sky, yeah, that boy is all sorts of sexy. He's a double of his brother, and Kai, for all his faults, was gorgeous. I suppose. So that's where the attraction comes from. I hope I have absolutely no comment about her. I just, I'm just glad I won't be seeing her again. As far as Levi is concerned, he is sweet as pie, but way too good for Blake. I feel like she's using him and it's just for show, unfortunately, and nothing else. Blake, yeah, like I said, totally using Levi. Playing Levi like a fiddle. It's just not fair and I'm not keen on her. I just think she's completely fake and rubbish, <laughs> to be honest. Roxy, she's all right. I was warming to her when Lucy came in the house. I felt sorry for her then. And as for Davina, well, let's just be real. She's a Roxy 2.0. Thank you, Alice. You've been a wonderful contestant. Please leave the Big Brother house. Alright and it is earlier on in the day and Big Brother has decided that because it is leisure day and the guys can't go out then they will bring the happy times to them. So Big Brother is going to open up all areas of the house and they have introduced a few fun items for the housemates as well. So I'm just going to go and unlock that and yeah just to make it a bit more fun for them just to give them a bit of a fair day we've got the archery system we're going to have a few bobbin for apple contests we've got this as well you know just a whole bunch of fun items that in the rodeo we've got some popcorn so it's going to be a nice day for the sims because i feel sometimes that we just kind of we don't really see much of their interaction, so I think it would be good to spend some time with the housemates and see what kind of items they are sort of drawn to if that makes sense all right so what's been happening in the house then so it looks like miss abby wants to go and chat to mr sky so what we'll also do is try and get some wish fulfillment on the go as well so that we can 
you know, kind of guide the guide the Sims if you like. Now Abby wants to throw a pool party, which we can't do, and Sky wants to watch the stars with Davina and pillow fight with Alice. So we could certainly do that. Roxy, what do you want? You want to hug Duncan? Well, let's go and do that. So if we get some of the wish fulfillment done, that would be good. Where is Duncan? He's just standing in the room. <laughs> right, Roxy, come over here and do this then. So, romantic and we will amorous hug. That's amore and all that jazz. So, we're also going to open this room as well. So, let me go ahead and unlock this. And this has got like a whole bunch of art easels in it. It's also got the, uh, what do you call it? Dancing bar and all that sort of stuff. Duncan, where are you going in your chonies? Come back. We need to give you an amorous hug. Come on. What is Hope doing? Hope wants to become friends with Davina. Okay, and she's going to listen to a story from Davina, so this could work. Okay, so let's go and do this then. So she wants to pillow fight with Davina and become friends with her. So why don't we do that? Share a little secret with her. And what I'm going to do is, how are these two getting on? Aww quite good and he wants to play with the family fun water arena so let's go ahead and give him a or give her hold her hand because these two are very much just trying to build up their relationship back after the, the lucy disaster now um abby has spoken to big brother and you'll see some of her diary room footage um pretty soon but uh, she wants to have some closure with Andrew. So on Wednesday, Andrew is going to come to the house. Yes, he is. And we are going to have a a sort of closure meeting, if you like, ahead with them. So that'll be quite interesting to see for sure. So what we'll do then, Duncan, you want to do this family fun thing. So why don't you have a water balloon fight? And you have it with Roxy. Can you do it? And what we'll we do, we'll do it with Abby as well because she's just chilling like a villain. And Alice. Let's go ahead and do that. And see what that... So that'll be quite interesting to have him come into the house. I like that. And also, if you remember, Noah and Abby have kissed for the first time. So they are now romantic interests. Autonomous Woohoo is still on. I was considering like taking it off for story purposes but we're just going to leave it on and see kind of what happens all right so we have this so duncan is going to go against roxy so that's funny right how are you have you oh excellent so you've actually built up a friendship because davina was losing her patience with hope and hope's excitement so there you go it seems to have worked a little bit better so what is Davina up to? She wants to give a gift to Roxy and become best friends with Mr. Kalari. So what is Mr. Kalari doing? He's making himself, he has got some body on him, hasn't he? He really, really has got some body on him. So we'll get Davina to come over here once he's finished and have a bit of romantic times with her. And how are we getting on over here? I wonder whose team will win. I'm going to go for team at Roxy and Abby because we all know how much of a tough thrown arm Roxy has. <laughs> she certainly has enough practice with slapping people. So if that's if the strength of her slap has got anything to do with the strength of her water balloon throwing, then I think we are all good. So I'm going to get our gorgeous Noah. Let's let's stop to appreciate this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My 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 yes. You are handsome. You're just perfection. Tattoos are a bit, you know, wonky and, and kind of all out of sync, if you like. They're a bit random. Apart from this, this top half looks normal. But, yeah, we'll forgive you. We will forgive you because apart from that, you're gorgeous. Let's do an apple bobbing contest. And who is free and easy? Davina, well, who is free? <laughs> Maybe not easy, but who's free? Let's Davina do it. Oops. Enter with Davina. And we will also go with, Kalari looks like he's finished. So we'll go with him. Let's go ahead and do that. Where is Levi? I haven't seen him this morning. Aha, there he is. That's another, that's another example of pure and utter 
perfection. Yes, it is. So the garden needs to be tended. So who is basically not doing anything? I think everybody is doing something. Graceful dives come and lots of lots of practice. Be prepared to get wet. Well, there you go. So is it just two? I'm sure that it's more than nothing. You can get. Yeah, I was going to say I'm sure you could get more than two on the apple bobbing contest. You are taking your time. Who's the winner? Who is the winner? Because I need somebody to do the garden. Levi, what to do, sweetheart? I know you're busy and all that jazz, but why don't you come and tend this garden? Right, we're waiting. Who are we waiting on for this freaking apple bopping contest? Is it Hope or is it Blake? Right, well, on you go. Right, okay. There you go, Roxy's team won. I told you guys, Roxy and Abby were totally, totally kick ass. So Roxy's team has won and the, oh, the apple bobbing contest is going. I think Davina would have the biggest mouth. So I think, I think Davina with her big mouth is for sure going to pull out the most apples. Come on, Davina, I'm rooting for you. Get those apples. How do you like them apples? Get those apples. <laughs> Quite nice, but I'm I'm such a pervert. All I do is perv on the Sims. Like seriously, I need to get a grip of myself. <laughs> I really do. I'm gonna get Abby to come and practice her archery. We'll just go for a basic shot. I had said that we were gonna do some wish fulfillment. And as always, hardly any wishes are appearing whenever I decide to do wish fulfillment. So who's won? Noah! Noah's got the biggest mouth, guys. Well, here you go. He's better at apple bobbing than everyone else. That's funny. So can he watch Abby do this or or not? <laughs> Is Davina having a go at him again? She's a nightmare for him. Right, go ahead and go and use the all-in-one bathroom. Right, Abby. Are you any good at archery? Are you a resident Merida? Is that what you are? Right guys, so what we are going to do is hear from the nominees to find out who is going to be up for nomination this week. So I wonder who it is going to be. So the housemates are going to be called as always one by one and they are going to nominate. Hi Noah. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? I'm nominating Roxy. I know she went through a really tough time last week, and I feel like a pig voting for her, but honestly, the people I would have voted for, I can't, so I really have no choice. Plus, um, she will slap happy again with Duncan. I know that he hurt her, but the lady needs to keep her hands to herself. Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? You're probably going to get tired of me saying this, but... I nominate Davina. I think hanging around with Roxy has taught her some bad habits. They should be the happy slappy gang. Did you see the whack she gave me the other day? <laughs> well, of course you've seen it, but it was ridiculous. I don't think they should get away with it. To be honest, big brother, if I was going around slapping women, can you imagine what people would say? My God. Hi, Blake. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? My first nomination is Abby. I feel that she has built her little group around her and now isn't really interested in getting to know anyone else. I said it before, and I honestly feel like she is so much like my sister Angela. I really love my sister, but I really wanted this experience to be more time away from her. And let's be honest, Abby is like Angela 2.0, and it's not fun. Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain the reasons behind that nomination? Noah. Him and Abby are all comfy cozy right now, but I don't buy it one bit. He claims to be a changed man, but you really can't just change a person like that. It just seems really off to me. Hi Davina, can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain the reasons behind that nomination? I'm nominating Noah. He had the nerve to tell me I wasn't a team player, which is ridiculous. I've been the captain of many teams, and I told him so. He told me being a captain doesn't make you a team player, it makes you a leader. And I was like, whatever, Noah. Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? I'm actually not going for Abby this week. I know, I'm shocked too. I'm going for Duncan. 
Roxy cried for two days straight after Duncan asked her to just be friends. Because of that bitch, Lucy. Two days of being trapped in a house with someone constantly wailing. It's tough, even though I love my girl. Hello, Duncan. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? My first nomination is going to be for Hope. I don't really mind Hope, but I don't really know her that well either. And with hardly anyone left in the house to pick from, it's difficult to choose someone, so I hope it is. And can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? I don't think Roxy's going to like me very much for this one, uh, but my second nomination goes for Davina. I know Davina is one of Roxy's best friends in here, but I think she's a bad influence on her. Roxy kind of becomes a bit of a different person round about her, which is not a good thing. Hi, Abby. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? Funnily enough, this week I would have nominated Blake for my first one. We're not very close, and she's been rather isolated. Given that Davina and I have been making inroads with one another, the person I'm most unfamiliar with now is Blake, which informs why she would have been one of my choices. But she's exempt, and that's why it sucks. But going by people with whom I have the best relationships, I have to nominate Davina again, which is really sad to me. I'm hoping that we can keep building our relationship so that, if she stays, I won't have to nominate her again. At least not for a good long while. We're getting to a better understanding, and I'd like to cultivate that. Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain the reasons behind that nomination? My second nomination goes to Roxy. I like Roxy. We've gotten along very well. But she and Noah got off to a rough start with her slapping him. I felt it was inexcusable, and I told her as much, as supportively as I could, and I could tell that she was making an effort to check her rage. I get that she is upset about Lucy and Duncan. I really do. It must hurt like f But domestic violence isn't okay. It's never okay. Objectively. It doesn't matter that she's a woman. It's irrelevant that he's a man. It's never okay. I know she's hurting, and I would give anything to help her get past it. But I can't abide her actions, and violence culture, even in a relationship that is otherwise loving, can't be rewarded. I don't mean this from a place of cruelty, but she deserves to be well. And she's clearly not thriving in this environment. And if she's constantly driven to violence, I don't know. I'd hate to see her go. I'd miss her in our talks. But if being here is making her mentally unwell, it's irresponsible for me not to speak out. And don't worry. I've told her to her face about these concerns. Hello, Hope. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? Well, I was going to vote for Blake, but I guess since she managed to exempt herself, I'm going to have to say Roxy. I didn't like it when she slapped Duncan. It was completely uncalled for. Like, I don't care how mad or how hurt you are. You don't go around slapping people. It's just not cool. Alice did it with Kai too, and it just makes me so upset. It's just so wrong. Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain the reasons behind that nomination? Davina. Roxy and her are as thick as thieves. I'm always worried when they go off whispering in the corridors. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they nominated the same people as each other. I smell an alliance going on. Hi, Levi. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? Now that the number of housemates who are eligible for nomination are in the single digits, things are getting tough. My first nomination is Abby. Part of the reason? Blake's uncomfortable around her. She says she reminds her too much of her sister. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not the only reason. I just haven't bonded with her yet. It seems the rest of the housemates love her, and I'm sure she's a really cool person, but she doesn't seem interested in getting to know me at all. 
Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? My second nomination is Hope. It's another tough one. If I had a, a laptop to show you a pie chart, it would be a lot clearer. Of all the people that I would miss the most, Hope and Abby are the smallest pieces of that pie. Hi, Roxy. Can you please give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? I am so annoyed that Blake and Levi won the immunity. So annoying. My first nomination would have been totally Blake, but I guess I'm going to go for Hope. She was a part of that whole drama love triangle, and Alice and Kai have gone. I feel like the house needs a fresh start. In saying that, maybe she will be a different person without their distractions. Can you please give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons behind that nomination? Noah is my second nomination. I know what you're all probably thinking. Surprise, surprise. But it's really difficult once it gets down to fewer housemates and you become friends with more people. Noah and I are really trying to resolve our differences and he was super supportive of me when Lucy came in. But the simple fact is that I am closer to the other housemates, so I am going to have to vote for him. Housemates, you've each nominated and your votes have been counted. The housemates who face the public vote this week are Hope, Noah, Roxy, and Davina. All right, so we know which housemates are now nominated. So back to the previous day's house footage. And it looks like the housemates are pretty much in the pool. And Kalari is getting out because of his mobile phone. Oh, what's happening here? What on earth? Levi, what's going on with you guys? Seriously? That was weird. They just had a bit of a tiff. What's this? They humiliated from socialization. So has Blake just went over and totally insulted him for some reason? How weird is that? Right, Duncan, sweetheart, what are you up to? Ah, and it looks like our hope is on the archery. Are you doing any better? Why is Blake just running about? Blake has got some muscles on her now. Look at her. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I suppose she's had nothing else to do in the house apart from, you know, do this. These two as well had a little bit of a, a tifferoo. They seem to be down to friends now, so I don't know what happened. I really, really don't. And Noah is just going to come over here. He wants to woohoo with Abby still, but nothing's really happened with that. So we're going to hear from some diary room footage from um, Abby and Noah just to kind of find out where they stand at the moment as well. Because, you know, it's, it's one of these moments that you just never know. What's Alice doing? Go tell a funny story to Blake. Alright, fair enough. And what about you? You need to go and see Mr. Kalari. Why don't you go and see him? Right, get out, Kalari. Davina wants to talk to you. Because she wants to become best friends with you. Come on. So get out. Let her do that. Let her be best friends with you. She doesn't like very many people, but she likes you. <laughs> so let us go ahead and try and make her be best friends. How is the relationship? Can they be best friends once they're a romantic interest? I don't really know. I mean, they've got a full bar, so, I mean, surely, 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 I don't know. Did you know that Gunther Goth is filthy rich? I would never have guessed. Would you not, really? The Goths, the Goths are very, um, very rich. They have been since Sims 1, yeah? Okay. Uh, romantic, heat the moment kiss. Yeah, it's not changing it. I don't understand why not. He wants to watch the stars with her, but I think since it's not June, it's still during the day. I don't think they can, can they? No. But let's take a romantic photo together. Why not? That would be nice. Roxy, darling, are you doing all right? So she seems to be doing okay. Um, our broken heart is away, which is always a nice thing. But uh, like I say, what what's happening over here? Oh. We have got some flirtation. 
because the thing is they did this in private so whether or not the other housemates have clocked on i think they will have clocked on because they all knew something was going on between these two so it'll be quite interesting on wednesday to see you know to see andrew come in to the house and oh my goodness it's i mean how's i mean abby just wants closure she doesn't want anything else from him but will he try and make a play for her will he see her in a new light being on the show who knows and uh, very very interesting indeed and i wonder what abby's kids are also thinking about this dalliance with this hungry hungry yes laura he's a hungry man <laughs> Let's go get him to do the bucket at Bronco. But first, we're going to hear from him in the diary room, him and Abby, and find out a little bit about how they're feeling about what's going on so far. Hi, Noah. You are up for nomination this week for the first time. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I knew this day would come. I thought I would be prepared for it and handle it in my stride. But I'm nervous. I don't want to leave the house. I mean, I just told Abby how I felt, and and now I might have to leave. I'm just praying that the public lets me stay. Now, I get what Levi was saying the other day about it being really stressful, and until you're up on the chopping block, you don't understand. Well, now I understand. How are things with you and Abby? I've told women how I feel before, but it's never felt like it did with Abby. I felt sick, and I started to panic. I mean, I was on national television. Wait, what if this is all in my head and I'm about to make a complete ass out of myself? I should have done it somewhere nicer. I, I should have did it better. Uh, I did it in the garden. Uh, but it didn't look like we were getting into the luxury suite anytime soon. And quite honestly, I've been dying to kiss her for too damn long. Anyway, I told her and she looked surprised. But then she said she liked me back and well, you know the rest. I know this is different than the other women because that kiss felt different. I just hope she isn't the one that ends up changing her mind on me. Thank you, Noah. You may leave the diary room. Hi, Abby. Noah finally confessed his feelings to you. How are you feeling? Oh, boy. When he told me when we embraced and had that super heated moment, I was elated. And don't get me wrong, I'm still completely jazzed but I'm also quite genuinely terrified. There are a few factors at play here. The first to know is that I trust Noah, implicitly. I truly believe that he's honest about his devotion. However, what got me into my mess of a marriage, what's gotten me into every mess in life, is that I don't slow down. The second is that I need closure with Andrew. Our last few interactions consisted of clipped conversations regarding the kids staying with him for the summer. He was furious because I insisted on a court liaison performing a series of random home visits because, while he's always been good to the kids, I don't know his other wife. Also, she knew about us. I don't judge her for being okay with it. But she had the advantage of years of getting to know me, vicariously, through Andrew. I don't know her, and the thought of sending my kids to spend time with an unfamiliar woman made me uncomfortable. I'd like to think that there wasn't any anger or spite compelling my fears, but I can't say for sure. What I can say is that I'm more comfortable with it after they'd passed the court assessments. But now, it's time to get past my ignominy towards him. Conclude this chapter in my life. No matter what happens with Noah, I owe it to my kids and myself to take the chance and use what I've learned to make the best possible life for us. So I wish that Noah and I had waited until after I had that opportunity. Thirdly, I also don't wish that. I don't want to waste time or make excuses. I want to be smart about Noah, but I want him. All of him. Caring about someone as I do means accepting each part of him, and I'm willing and ready to do that. But I'm scared, and on some level worry that once we leave here, his and or my feelings will change. 
It's terrifying, honestly. But I've got an idea for the reward I'm going to request. Thanks to all of you, by the way. I can't express how much it means to me that you've accepted me and that so many of you root for my happiness. I consider myself incredibly lucky, and I am honored. Seriously. You haven't faced the public vote yet. Why do you think that is? Honestly, I'm not completely certain. Though I'm certain that uh, sounds like false modesty. If I had to guess, it's because I do my best to look for the best in my fellow housemates. None of us are perfect, and I feel honored to have known them. Thank you, Abby. You may leave the diary room. Alright, we pick up with Mr. Noah on the bull and he is doing awesome. How fast is that going? I think he's going to conquer the bull. I do. I do. Ride it, cowboy. Come on. You can do it. Go make me proud, Noah. Make me proud. Make mama proud. <laughs> he certainly is doing his acrobatics on it anyway. Come on. Show Abby what you're made of. <laughs> Show her what you can do. Well done, Noah. Super duper proud. Look at how she's looking at him like, oh yes. Oh yes. That's my man. So go and have some cotton candy out the machine. So there you have it, guys. That is our basically it's our episode is finished so thank you so much for joining me and the voting is now open for the housemates who are up for eviction so go ahead and vote on that as well and let me know what you think in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed i would love you to hit that button and uh, let me know what you think of the episode and i'll talk to you in the very next part bye guys